Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how to make some uh, hand poured soy wax candles in my car. If you've never made a candle before, it is almost as simple as you would imagine it to be. Um, any craft can be turned into like an art if you put time and creativity into it. But if you want to just make a candle that you can burn as a candle for yourself, or if you want to gift it to somebody and they could burn it and recognize it as a candle, that step, that craft part of it, it's pretty simple, like so simple. I'm gonna do it in my car. Today we're using soy wax. Can you see that? It like the brand that I bought comes in little pellets. You essentially have to melt the wax. There's several types of waxes like paraffin, beeswax, coconut, soy. You don't really have to worry about it as a consumer, as a maker, you might care for different reasons. I'm using the double boiler method to melt this wax. All right, so solid and liquid wax weighs the same. I pre-weighed this. This is one pound of wax. I'm gonna put that right on top of there. Oh gosh, I'm using a cast iron because that's just what I have. As that slowly melts, I'm gonna set up a couple jars. You know, this is the part that I was actually worried about if whether or not I can actually melt this wax in my car. And the answer is yes. The answer is absolutely I can melt the wax. This might be too strong, actually. Next step in our little arts and crafts session, you just gotta, I have cotton wicks here, and what you do is you just attach them to these little wick stickers. Right? They're sticky on both sides. You just wanna put it in the middle, like this. Just gonna try your best to hit that right in the middle, just like this. Right? Pretty solid. I'm just gonna do that with all three, try to get them centered. All right, so what we are waiting for in this stage is for all of the wax to melt which we're closing in on and for the wax to reach 180 fahrenheit degrees okay um as we wait i'm gonna further prepare my jars i don't know what these are called i think they're like wick bow ties essentially you can just stabilize the wick in the middle of your jar like this just so that you can see See, and it keeps it in the middle. You can also do this with like a, like a popsicle stick or a bobby pin or, you know, you, essentially you just need to make sure that the wick stays centered. Now let's do some fragrance math, all right? You're gonna want a uh, fragrance for soy wax to be between three to 10% by volume, sorry, by weight. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cancel out this jar. Since there's one pound of wax in that, that means it's 16 ounces. We need about one ounce per pound. 70% clean cotton. So like it's like a detergent soapy smell. And then we're gonna add a little bit of lavender to that as well. So point, 0.7 to clean soap. Add a splash of lavender, a splash of 0.3. Okay, there we go, one ounce. One ounce by weight, not by volume. As well, the wax is all melted and we are at 178. We need to get to about 185. Get that, melted soy wax at 187.5, perfect. That is 16 ounces of wax for one ounce of fragrance oil, so that is one part fragrance oil to 17 parts of this whole container. The general guidance is to stir slowly for two minutes. It's not that you have to stir it exactly for two minutes and then something happens. There's no like chemical reaction that happens. It's just that you want it to be thoroughly mixed. So I'm gonna do it for about two minutes, all right? You can do it for however much you want. Looks good though, right? You can almost drink. It looks like beer. Warm beer. Warm decarbonated beer. All right, so here are a couple pretty important numbers, all right? So 185 is when you mix the fragrance. For soy wax, 140 degrees is when you pour the candle. 140, all right? Right now, we are sitting at 169 after I did the mixing. Um, so we're gonna wait and I'm gonna cook breakfast. Oh God, oh God, oh 
Oh no. That's a shell. <laughs> I made my sandwich and my wax is now sitting at 148 degrees. Um, as you can see, so after after you're done setting up everything, all the materials, uh, it's just a lot of waiting. I think making candles is very therapeutic to make and to burn. It's just a very relaxing hobby, I guess. Craft. Oh, but oh, oh, look at that. Oh. <sighs> well, I want to bring you guys back in again. Um, the wax is at 140. So I'm going to pour one candle right now. And this only has, so this candle will only have soy wax, a cotton wick, and fragrance. I'm not even adding um, dye. You just want to do it in one smooth pour, okay? I'm going to fill it pretty full up. You're going to want to find somewhere that's flat. I don't think there's anywhere in my van that's actually flat. All right, so can you see that? The candle is yellow now, but when it dries, it's going to turn into this like milky type of white. The next two candles that I'm going to pour, I'm going to add some color. What should we do? What shall we do? How about... How about since these are lavender and soap, we can make it baby blue. One, two, three, four. Oh, let's do four. It's probably a lot. Four is probably a lot. But baby blue sounds fun, right? All right. So you see that? That's a dye right down there. You're going to want to mix that up a little bit. Ooh. That just looks fun, doesn't it? That's a fun color. I like that. It's pretty relaxing. All right, let's pour these ones as well. Last step, actually uh, second to last step, because the last step is waiting. But um, you're gonna really want to pay attention to where the wicks are setting, because a candle with a wick that's not in the middle can't really be gifted, and it just doesn't look good. So once you get to this step, just try to be very detail oriented, and then once you're done freaking out about whether or not every one of these is exactly in the center then we wait then we just chill yeah okay like i said this is pretty much the last step you just gotta I i'm gonna add a couple finishing details to my candles but once they dry uh you're gonna want to wait like a week or two for soy wax to cure now say you make a candle out of paraffin wax like this or yankee candles that you see in targets or walmarts those are made of paraffin wax they burn a little brighter, a little faster, and like has more um, hot throw, the smell when it's lit. Uh, <sighs> they also look nice. It's a very predictable wax, so you see how smooth it is. While these dry, as a side note, I sell candles now. The candles I sell, it won't be like these ones. I, I made them in a controlled environment in a, with a different method. Uh, I made a couple hundred for the upcoming holidays and winter and fall season. So, you know, no pressure. You don't have to buy them. And I'm also not going to become like a candle making YouTuber. I'm still going to be van and camping. But if you want a couple candles, I'll link my Etsy store. Free shipping to anywhere in the U.S. I'm going to take a nap while they dry. I was hoping like a leaf or a bug. Doesn't fall in. <laughs> I 
Are they good? Do they look good? You look good. Nice. Okay, all right. Couple final finishing touches now. Let me show you what they look like. They're not fully dry, but they're definitely, they've mostly solidified, so we can start playing around with them. Take this off. All right. Go ahead and cut the wick a little under the line. You might see a little bit of frosting or lumpiness. This one came out pretty good. That just depends on um, a lot of factors, actually. It could be how fast your wax cooled. It could be how, like, what the temperature of your glass is. It could just a lot of things. But to be honest, I think this one came out pretty nice. And boop. Wow. This thing is beautiful. If you're really OCD about these lumps and these white spots, you could heat gun it. I heat gun some of my tops for the candles that I sell, but it really doesn't matter because when you light them, it's going to start melting the wax on top anyways. I'm going to keep the caps on as they cool. Finishing steps for my candles. I don't really have to do these because I'm not going to sell these, but just to show you what I do for my candles to block out the, um, the wick sticker and to put the warning label for candles on, I put it on the bottom, looks like this. And then I make my own little labels with a stamp. So it's gonna look something like this. Pretty, right? Smells good too. Ah, so nice, so nice. Okay, what do you think? So I made three, uh, actually four, I made four hand poured, handmade, uh, four ounce soy wax candles. Pretty simple, right? Like I said, I mean, I did it in the back of my car. You can probably do it in your kitchen or in your house very easily. Um, if you don't want to do that, like I said, I also sell candles, not these, like candles that put more care, detail orientation and love into, all right? So I'll link my Etsy store. Uh, again, no pressure, all right? Just let me know if you want one, free shipping, yada, yada. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, thanks for hanging out. Love ya.